Hello everyone, welcome to How to Make Your Computer Run Faster, brought to you by eVideoHow.com. Okay, a lot of people, when they first buy their computers, or make their own computers, whatever, they boot up and run very quickly, and they're all nice and happy and all that jazz. However, over time, as you get more programs and files and straight files and stuff like that, they start to run really, really slowly. And there are a couple of solutions to this, but the best solution is to use a program called CCleaner to clean it up. This is a free download. So the best way to do this is check here. Search for CCleaner download or go to www.ccleaner.com slash download. Click on that. And you can go down and you can download from File Hippo or from somewhere else. If you don't want to download and install that program, and you know, once it's done, you're gonna open up CCleaner. This to hates me. So, all right, there are three really important features in CCleaner. The, there's the cleaner, the registry, and the startup. So the cleaner, what you'll do is you can pick your windows and your applications, and you're gonna you want to analyze it, and it'll tell you, and I'll do it right now, it shouldn't take too long, although it'll take probably maybe 10 seconds or so, depending on how fast your computer is, or how fast your hard drive spins, and how much extra junk you have in there, it could take a long time. I promise it really shouldn't take that much longer. Meanwhile, you see, um, it gives you a lot of options. Some things for Windows, some things for... The biggest thing that stores extra files are Internet browsers. So, for me, it's Internet Explorer, Mozilla, and Opera. Okay, there you go. Um... This is about 49 megabytes to be removed. That's because I don't use Internet Explorer very often, and I don't have Mozilla Firefox checked because it's open. But it could be anything from a couple megabytes to sometimes up to a gigabyte, depending on how much it stores. So then you want to hit Run Cleaner, and it'll say Permanently Delete. Yes. So you want to delete all of those. Now, the next thing you want to do is hover to Registry. Now, I'm going to spare you the uh, watching me do this on this part, but you want to leave everything done, hit Scan for Issues, and it'll bring up all the issues, like from when you deleted program or uninstalled programs from your computer, and just extra stuff that's left, usually after installations. And then afterwards, just hit Fix Selected Issues, and it should get rid of all of that stuff. Now, the third and probably the most important one of the more important things for boot for booting up is under tools you're gonna hit startup and this shows you all the things that try to run when your computer starts up. And so if there's stuff in here that you don't want, like for instance, this over here is for the Windows sidebar for Vista. And let's say I don't want that to run when I start windows so you can hit delete or disable alcohol auto mount that's for alcohol 52 which is a virtual drive if I didn't want that get rid of it as Skype Windows Defender anything that you don't want you can clean up and it should improve your boot time significantly there are also a lot of options and stuff that you can look at in here and the license agreement Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to watch this video and all my other YouTube videos in high quality. Please visit my website, www.evideohow.com.